Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get SOLIDWORKS working on a Mac with improved graphics performance with the ability to use real view graphics. I know the video is long, but try not to skip anything as every step is important to achieving peak performance in SOLIDWORKS. Now let's get started. So right now I'm going to be running uh, Parallels Desktop 18. So if you click on the Buy Now button, you can either get um, the standard or the pro edition subscription. But if you're a student, then I would go for this one, which is students and educators. You get 50% off, which I think is a pretty good deal. So the difference between standard and pro edition is um, standard, I would recommend if you have a base model, like an M1 or M2 MacBook Pro or Air, um, because of how many cores they have, because this limits it to four CPU cores. This one is pretty much as much as you need. Um, the Pro Edition, I would recommend if you have a Pro Max or Ultra processor, um, just because it actually has a 3D modeling mode, um, which is the best for SOLIDWORKS. Okay, so after you buy it, um, you're going to want to go under Resources and click the Downloads for Parallels Desktop for Mac right here. And down here, you can see Automatic Installer and click that DMG button, and it'll give you a download link. I already have it, so I'm going to open it right here. And you should see this screen. Um, just double click on install parallels desktop, open anyways, and give it access. And you just want to just go through all the menus um, and it'll start downloading. It'll take a little bit, but um, it shouldn't take too long if you have good internet connection. Okay, it's going to ask for your password. Okay, so when you first um, open parallels desktop, it should ask if you want to download and install Windows 11. And you're going to want to install. So if Parallels does it for you, it's like actually the easiest way to do it. So just click Install Windows. And it's going to start downloading. Um, if you have good internet, it shouldn't take too long. OK, so now it's installing Windows. You just want to go through the setup process, and it shouldn't be that hard. Okay, so it's going to ask for a restart of Windows, so just click that. If you install Windows 11, it might ask you to activate or register your um, Parallels license key. I already did mine, so all I'm going to do is sign into it. Um, okay, see, I already have my um, license here but you're going to want to enter your key. So if you click that, you type in your key and it should work. Or if you already activated it to your Parallels account, then it should show up like this. I'm just going to click activate. And it has successfully activated. Press OK. And Windows should um, activate for you or like it should open up. Okay, so after Windows boots up, you're going to notice you're going to have um, all your Mac desktop icons and screenshots and stuff all on your Windows desktop, but you're going to want to disable that. So go to the Windows button and shut down your computer. Okay, open up Parallels again and click the Settings button. Go to Options, Sharing, and you're going to want to disable sharing files between Mac and Windows. Um, the reason you do this is because SOLIDWORKS doesn't really like it when you have shared files for some reason. Um, so you just want to disable that. Also, for anyone who's using the pro version of Parallels, you're going to want to go to hardware, go to CPU and memory. And you want to change your, um, your processors from automatic to manual. And you want to go to uh, however many processors you want. I left four CPU cores for my Mac. And I did uh, 10 gigabytes of memory for Windows, um, which leaves around 6 gigabytes for my Mac. You don't want to give everything to Windows, because otherwise your Mac wouldn't function properly. Um, so we're just going to leave it like that. Also, uh, you can play around with settings. Um, you can go under General and Configure 4. You want to change that to Design and click OK. If you have the Standard Edition, um, you don't have this option, so just leave it at uh, Productivity. Okay, so now you can start up Windows again, and we're going to start to install SOLIDWORKS. Uh, so you're going to want to open Microsoft Edge. 
Okay, for students like me, you're going to want to go to solidworks.com slash sw slash education slash sdo underscore form.html. Basically, you want to follow the instructions that your school provides you. Um, okay, so basically, you're going to want to download SOLIDWORKS through either your company, your personal account, or um, your student account. Uh, this is just how I'm going to do it, because it's how my school um, provided my license. So I'm just going to click Accept and Continue, and I'm going to click Download. Like I said, this doesn't apply to everyone, but um, after you get the SOLIDWORKS setup file, you want to click Open File. Click Yes. And um, I'm going to just unzip into my downloads. OK, so I can cancel out of that. And SOLIDWORKS install should open automatically. And I'm going to click Install on this computer. Okay, so you can see um, it allows you to put in your serial number. I'm going to put mine in right here. I'm obviously going to censor it out. Okay, so after you put in your license, click the Next button, and it should connect to SOLIDWORKS to confirm your license. Okay, here. And this is another important step. Um, so SOLIDWORKS on Parallels doesn't work with every um, SOLIDWORKS application, so you want to click Change. And we're going to go down here and disable electrical. And we're also going to disable uh, SOLIDWORKS CAM. So for some reason, these two don't work. Um, they, they have like an API call to something called Microsoft SQL, um, which Parallels doesn't seem to allow. Um, if anyone knows a fix to this, please let me know. But personally, I never use those, so I just disabled CAM um, and electric. OK, so now you can click um, Accept the Terms and Conditions, and then Download and Install. And then you just wait. If you followed all my instructions, you should have no problem in uh, installing SOLIDWORKS. OK, so after the download, it's going to start the install automatically, or you can just fast forward. Okay, so if you followed my instructions properly, then you should have this installation is complete screen. Um, I'm going to disable this check mark. No, thank you. Um, and then I'm going to click finish. It's going to ask me to restart my computer. So I'm going to restart now. It's going to take a little bit. Okay, so now you can see on my desktop, you can see uh, all the SOLIDWORKS applications I downloaded. Um, just another reminder again, don't install electrical or chem. It will not install and SOLIDWORKS won't work. Um, so I'm going to open SOLIDWORKS right here. Verifies my license. Um, I want to activate it now. OK, so I activated my license. It gives me all of that. I'm a student. OK, finish. Let it load up. Uh, I accept. OK, so now that SOLIDWORKS is open, um, let's just, I'm just going to make a quick part just to show you that it works. Might take a little bit on the first launch, but um, let's do that. So yeah, pretty smooth, but um, you can actually get it smoother. This part of the tutorial is actually optional. Um, but if you do want to get real view graphics working, then you're going to want to follow this tutorial. Also, I'm going to run a benchmark before and after I do the graphics mod to show you the difference in performance to see whether or not you want to do it. Um, to do so, you're just going to want to close out of SOLIDWORKS. Um, it's a little complicated, but if you follow my instructions, you shouldn't have any problems. Uh, so go to the search and type in registry editor. Open it up. Click yes. And you're going to go under H key current user. Scroll all the way down to software. 
SolidWorks, and down here you're going to see something called Allow List. Open that one up too, and click on Current. First, you're going to see um, Render using Parallels using Apple M2 Pro Compact. That's because I'm using an M2 processor. It's going to be named um, after whatever chip you're personally using. Um, so you want to double click that and you want to copy this exact term. Um, so right here, copy, press OK. And then after that, you want to go down to GL2 shaders, go under other and right click other, go over new and new key type uh, or paste in exactly what we copied earlier. And right here on the right, you're going to see there's nothing except for the default value. We're going to right click again, new and D word, 32 bit value. You're going to click that and we're going to type workarounds. Okay. So after you typed in workarounds, click modify. And for the value, we're going to type in four zero 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 four eight zero. And it has to be hexadecimal. Press OK. And that's it for that one. Go back to current, right click uh, vendor or double click, copy this value. It should just be parallels in Apple. Um, and then you're going to want to scroll all the way down. And you see right here, there's parallels in ATI, parallels in Intel. Um, so we're basically following that same uh, format. So go all the way to allow list again, right click allow list, new and new key. You're going to paste in exactly what we copied. It should just be parallels in Apple. And on the right side, we're going to right click new DWR 32 bit value and type in workarounds. It has to be this exact term. It can't be anything else. And for the value, we're typing the same thing 4000480 hexadecimal and click OK. Um, if you exit out, now we can open SolidWorks. I recommend restarting, but um, I don't think it's exactly necessary. Okay, so now that we have SolidWorks open, um, I'm just going to open one of these benchmark files, carrier LD PRT. It's just a SolidWorks part used for the benchmark. And just click OK. Just to show you that real view is working, if you click this down button, you can now select real view graphics. And now we have GPU rendering inside of SolidWorks on a Mac. Um, you can also click, if you don't see that, you can go under view, display, and then turn on real view graphics. Um, just, just so you know, this isn't uh, any like certified graphics by SolidWorks. If you hover over this, uh, it still says it's not certified. So if you go under um, the settings, under performance, uh, we can't use soft. Uh, we can't use enhanced graphics performance. That requires an actual GPU, which um, is supported by SolidWorks. But this is the best way we can get graphics performance. And I'll be showing you benchmarks comparing before and after, um, and why this mod is pretty useful. I recommend doing it. It doesn't take that long, um, but you don't necessarily need it. So I did two benchmarks: one before and after the graphics mod. And on the left, you can see it was 297.3 seconds for graphics. And on the right, it was 127.5. Um, so that's around a two and a half times speed improvement, um, while processor and IO were pretty much the same. And that pretty much goes for uh, almost a two times improvement in the overall speed. And another thing is if you look at the real view performance, um, it couldn't test it before, but it does after. And when you do do this benchmark for yourself, um, just keep in mind it's going to take way longer um, after the improvement because it doesn't have proper real view support. So it's going to get like a, an obnoxious time like I did, which is around 1,300 seconds. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're taking a benchmark. Just only compare the, the top section. Don't, don't look at the bottom. So SOLIDWORKS does this really useful thing called coherence mode. So if you go to the top left right here and click the blue icon, it'll switch to coherence. And what this does is it basically turns your um, SOLIDWORKS into, or any Windows application into a Mac application. So you don't see any of the Windows taskbar and it works like a Mac app. So I can like bring it over to a different desktop and uh, 
it pretty much, you can resize it as if it was a Mac app. Um, but another useful thing about this is that you can go down here, right click and add to Launchpad. So now you, when you go into Launchpad, you can click on SolidWorks to open up the application inside of Parallels. So you don't even have to open um, the virtual machine yourself. You can just click that button and it'll open SolidWorks as if um, it were just a Mac application. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this video was helpful to you. And if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. A like or subscribe will be much appreciated and see you guys next time.